the great illusion. What illusion is this? Ah, well, you see, I get Dolores to lie down like that, and I pull this away very quickly, and she remains suspended in mid... No, it won't hurt, darling. I promise. <laughs> huh? Later. Uh, it doesn't hurt. <laughs> You're all right. Well, she remains suspended in Suspended mid in mid-air. Oh, that's marvellous. Yes. You do it with wires. No though. wires. No wires. None at all. Show us. Of course. Look. Not a wire. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay. And she remains... What? Have you heard right, someone? Right. Oh, could have played as a tune if you <laughs> She remains suspended in mid-air. It won't hurt. I keep promising you that. I promised your mother, didn't I? I promised your mother. <laughs> Shouldn't she be wearing slacks? Yes. Well, why isn't she? I've hidden them. Oh. <laughs> I'm not a fool, you know. Ready? Ladies and gentlemen, the great illusion. <laughs> oh. Where's the illusion in that? Well, Rita, there's two illusions in one. Yes? You see, you were under the illusion that she would remain suspended and she didn't. Yes. And she was under the illusion that it wouldn't hurt and it did. Oh. However, <laughs> you can't do them all. You see after, love. You see after. <laughs> Welcome to the show. First of all, I'd like to tell... <laughs> First of all, I'd like to tell you about some of the interesting people that we have on the show. I'm... <laughs> I'm sure you're going to enjoy them very much. We have some great persons. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, it's fairly obvious what I'm doing, isn't it? Why? I'm trying to take a candid picture of you so I can show my children. They don't realize I know you, you know. You're a big star to them, huh? Wig and all. Oh, my God. I didn't know you were interested in it. I've always been interested in it. <laughs> then I realized I was getting too old for it, so I took a photography. <laughs> what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Photography. Ah, well, there you are. So never the twins you'll meet. How about... What? What? If I pose and you take a portrait of me. I tell you what. What? How about if you pose and I took a portrait of you? That's what I just said. Well, will you speak up? I didn't hear. Oh. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? Yes. Right. Because I know everything there is to know about this. Oh, these. you do? Oh, what? <laughs> eh? F8. Pardon? F8. Who was? <laughs> You're using a, a, a fast shutter speed? 250? What ASA? <laughs> The light's not very good, is it? What is he on? He lives in a dream world of his own. <laughs> what are you talking about? Photography. Oh, yeah? I, yeah. I always use a filter. Well, he's walking too much. That's your thing. <laughs> Let me take a picture. That's all I want to take. Not from that side, please. Why? That's my bad side. Oh, I'll go around the other way. Incidentally. What? You've got two bad sides, you know. How can you have two? I'll tell you what. A thought suddenly struck me. I tell you what we'll do. Yes. You tell them a joke, mm -hmm. and you laugh at it. Yeah. Because you're the only one that ever does. Yeah. You see. Strong. And while you're laughing, mm -hmm. all natural, everything. Yes. I'll take a quick of you. I'll tell. I'll tell one of my best jokes. Oh, all right then. <laughs> Ready? Now. Yes. What is it that's brown and highly dangerous? I don't know. Shark-infested soup. <laughs> That's it! That's a laugh! That's a laugh at what? I'll tell the joke, and then I'll take the picture. <laughs> I've told, told the joke. What? I've told the joke. Not about the soup. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. And he got a big laugh. Who from? Me. That's a one. That's a one. <laughs> no, would it be better if I walked about, looking quite natural, and you just shot me at random? I just shot you at random. <laughs> Well, All right, then, Annie. <laughs> Willy-nilly. Willy-nilly. Okay. This is part of the expression. Right, here we Ready? go. Ready? Off okay. you go, then. Right. right. Now, don't forget to try and get the character in my face. Pardon? 
Try and get all the cats in my face. <laughs> Don't get my nose in because I, it's a it little bit like a cave. I, know what I, mean. yeah. Yeah. I tell you what, I'll go upstage yes. here, Lovely. then I'll walk forward, you can get me full face, That's okay? Lovely. How's that? <laughs> Are you taking angle shots? <laughs> what are you doing down there? Getting up. <laughs> Never been known to fail. What are you going to do, all that? Get down the rapid. <laughs> Look, show me some examples of your work. Oh. Well. If she's changed it up, subject, I will. Oh, yeah. All right. Lovely. There we are. What yeah. do you think of that? It's not I took that. bad. That's not bad. Not bad. You took this picture. Not right? bad, you fool. That is brilliant. You didn't, brilliant. Take, you didn't take it, though. Oh, yes, I took that. I took no, it. you didn't. No. Yes. That was taken by Lord Snowden. I've seen that in a magazine. Yes, I know, but I cut it out of the magazine, put it on the wall, and took mm. a picture of it. <laughs> That's cheating. You don't like art. Show me some of your work. Oh, what I've taken. What you've actually taken. I've got one. No, I better not show you. <laughs> Why not? Well, if I do, will you promise me one thing? What? You look upon it as art. <laughs> it's pure art. Oh, is it a bit, uh... It's a lot, uh... <laughs> You don't have to worry about it. I mean, that. you won't go, in the house, go in the house! <laughs> You'll do none of that, will you? Well, of course not, you know it right. better than that. Have a look at that. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Take it easy! Take it easy! I was doing it with you then, yeah. <laughs> That's a great photograph. It is a great Wonder. picture. Has it moved, does it? No. Oh. <laughs> She's very beautiful. A, a beautiful woman. You can't quite see the face, it's in the shadow. That was the idea. That was the idea of it. Oh, What's all that fuzziness all the way around? Well, that's a keyhole. That's a keyhole. <laughs> <laughs> no, wicked stuff. You are. I am, I can't help it. You took it through a keyhole? Through a keyhole, in a hotel, four o'clock in the morning. Really? I got up, walked along, went in the teeth. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> and then I moved all the shoes from everybody's door. Oh, yeah. I always do that. Do you? Oh, I'm kinky that way about shoes. <laughs> I like the negligee. I'm glad you like it. I like the way it sort of just sort of... Uh... Took me three hours, I waited there three oh. hours. Got a big star on my eye and everything. <laughs> and he just went... <laughs> and we... <Yeah. laughs> Boom! I was in. I got it. My wife has got a negligee exactly like that. Look at it. Look at what? Well, look at what? The picture you were showing me. I didn't see oh. it properly. Oh, there you are. It's very good. I like the bare shoulder. It's, uh, it's good, isn't it? Alabaster, isn't it? Yes. White. Yes, there's an answer to that, but I don't see it. What's that on the shoulder? That, that is a mole? Yes. A yes. mole. Stands out beautifully. Doesn't mole. M-O-L-E. Mole. It's a mole. Yes. I focused on that. Yes, yes. I and that, that is the focal point mm. of the whole picture is the mole mm. on, the, on the lady's shoulder. My wife <laughs> has got a mole in exactly the same spot. What mole? A mole? I can't see a mole. Oh, there's a mole there. Well, it's been a good year for moles, you know. There's a lot of them about. Please. You swine! How dare you! You've been taking pictures of my wife through the keyhole without her knowing. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to punch you. Was it a good one? One of the best I've ever seen. Do you, yeah. think, do you think I could get my picture on the front of Time magazine? Oh, no, no. No? I couldn't. Why not? Your face is too large. Well, couldn't we get a smaller face? I've got four of them. Four of them? The small faces. And here they are, folks. Oh. What a build-up for them. Well, put them. <laughs> I can't make it without you. 
I'd like to introduce you to Miss Millicent Martin. Oh, not again. Again? <laughs> ah, she's with us on every show. Yeah, but she's doing very well. I should think so with the build-ups we give her like that. Yes. Well, it's a very good build-up, huh? Yeah, don't you think? Thank you. <laughs> It isn't right, don't it isn't nice. Everybody says don't, everybody says don't, everybody says don't walk on the grass, don't disturb the peace, don't skate on the ice. Well, I say do, I say walk on the grass, it was meant to feel. I say sail, tilt to the windmill, and if you fail, you fail. Everybody says don't, everybody says don't, everybody says don't get out of line. When they say that, then baby, that's a sign. Nine times out of ten, maybe you are doing just fine. Make just a ripple. Come on, be brave. This time a ripple. Everybody says, mustn't rock the boat, mustn't touch a thing. Everybody says, don't. Everybody says, wait. Everybody says, can't fight City Hall, can't upset the cart, can't laugh at the king. Well, I say, try. I say, laugh at the kings or they make you cry. Lose your poise. Fall if you have to, but baby, make a noise. Everybody says, don't. Everybody says, can't. Everybody says, wait around for miracles. That's the way the world is made. I insist on miracles. If you do them, miracles. Nothing to them. I say, don't. Don't be afraid. Ladies and gentlemen, last year, Eric and I were in Paris. What are you doing? I was telling the ladies and gentlemen about when we were in Paris last year. Oh, but why not? Oh, why not? It's French, you know that. We went to see this play. It was a wonderful play. It was called The Other Man. Ah, oui, oui. And I thought it'd be a good idea if we presented it tonight on television, you see. Oh, that's, that's the, uh, the sketch where the girl comes on wearing nothing else but a fur coat. That's right. She's yeah. got nothing on underneath, mm -hmm. and a fella rips it off. That's it. Très, très formidable. I'm all for it. <laughs> Very, very formidable, that means. Yeah. Is that hurting you? A little bit. You look in agony. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> in this, I play the part of the lover. Perfect cousin. Naturally. Who blackmails the... Even more so. <laughs> who blackmails the young lady. Yes. And you play the part of the outraged husband. He's the fellow that rips the coat off your pow! You won't... That's it. <laughs> I'm all for it. It's going to be a lot of fun, this, I think. It will be, for one of us. Yeah. <laughs> now, you go ahead and tell them all about it. Yes. In French. You what? <laughs> Mesdames et messieurs, ladies and gentlemen, ce soir, this evening, nous présentons, we are presenting, a little drama, a little drama, 
For your pleasure. For your pleasure. <laughs> what it all boils down to, basically, is that this bird comes on in a fur coat. <laughs> She's got nothing on underneath. I rip it off. Ready when you are. <laughs> Yvette, do come in, my little... Not yet? yet. <laughs> Not yet! <laughs> ah, Yvette, you were saying, my dear. Ari, if you love me at all, you know... I... Not yet! <laughs> Not yet! <laughs> you come on when you get your due. Understand? She's got nothing on underneath her. Nothing she... on My darling, you were saying. Ari, I should never have come here wearing only my fur coat. <laughs> you know, before we go any further, I want my love letters back. Of course. All of them. Yes, this was part of the bargain. The bargain. Don't worry. There is plenty of time for that, my little petit pois. <laughs> but suppose that Pierre had followed me here and he finds me wearing nothing but his fur coat. Pierre is nothing but a stupid bourgeois fool. <laughs> He knows nothing. <laughs> Pierre! Pierre? Aha! Yvette! Get it off. Oh, no. Tell me, what's the matter with you? Look, you're supposed to say to her, yes. Yvette, why are you wearing your fur coat? It is midsummer. <laughs> Yvette! Why are you wearing your fur coat? It is midsummer. Allow me to take it off. Then we can all have a look. No, courage, no. mon brave, courage, mon yes. Let Yvette get her words out. Pardon? Let her get her words out. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, now that you are here, I will tell you everything. Don't tell her. Show us. <laughs> But I have something to tell you that will make you very, very angry. Very angry? Oui. She hasn't got a swimming costume underneath her. She's not. <laughs> but don't forget, in Paris, the whole thing came off. She got nothing on. Remember, I was sat in the stalls and went, and it ended up in the circle. Remember? <laughs> nothing on. And I went white and carried out. You remember it? Do not worry, my friend. You asked for the money back. <laughs> Yvette, you stupid oh, fool, you come here and get it off! Why don't you? Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. I wonder where the shopping bag had gone. <laughs> don't apologize. <laughs> when you do cheap musical skit. Well, that's what we are. I'm trying to act here. <laughs> get off! Get off! Father, you and her make up your mind. Come on, lady. You stupid fool! You. Oh, why not? Why don't you tell your husband that you do not love him? Oh, let go of me, will you? You go so I will tell you. Je vous déteste. Je vous déteste. I can't look at him now. <laughs> now you know what this woman is like underneath. That is what I'm trying to find out. <laughs> you slut! You now listen oh, to me. Will you get off? Get off! You promised me you said I could take it off! I take it off! Don't worry, he can take it off! I'm gonna take it off! Come Don't let me hair do that! I'm gonna Come take it off! <laughs> When you take the fur coat off, you've got to have a good reason. I've got a reason, and a very good reason! <laughs> Stick to the lines, will you? Oh, oh. you're spoiling it! <laughs> you're working well, you're working well. Don't worry. <laughs> Don't lean on me. <laughs> Please, we'll keep doing that. Why are you here with these short, fat, hairy Frenchmen? <laughs> wearing your fur coat. Oh, Pierre, I just slipped it on, that's all. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> ah! 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 Ah!
It is 90 degrees in the shade. Sacre bleu. You've said that without moving your lips. <laughs> it is getting warmer every moment. I am very cool, thank you, Pierre. You cannot be cool. The sweat is pouring off you. <laughs> and quite a lot is pouring off me. <laughs> and there's a little bit pouring off him. <laughs> now, will you get it off? That is the last thing I want to do. It's the only thing I want to do. <laughs> get it off. All right. Another fine actor. <laughs> if you insist. I insist. All right, then. I will take it off. Pardon? <laughs> I said if you want to, you can take it off. Can I take it off now? Take it off now is the time to take the coat off. Hey, I won't get letters written. You won't get any complaints at all. <laughs> Stop! What? 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 Well, of course, ladies and gentlemen, in Pardon? Paris... Please speak up, I can't hear you. In what? Paris, the fur coat actually came off. Came and off I'm, in Paris? I went white. I mean, but what can you expect? I mean, some of you don't even own your own television sets. <laughs> can, I, can I take it off now? And so, on that light-hearted vein, I'd like to say <laughs> thank you to Miss Jill Curzon. A superb performance, Mr. matched Wise. only by oh, my own. Yes. <laughs> we have first. And thank you, Monsieur Morco. We have rehearsed, don't I? Get off. It's delightful. <laughs> And you told me I could turn the fur coat off you. Well, I know, but you, you know. told me I'd play it. Never mind, don't oh, enter into an argument oh, here. Please. The curtain's down. It's There's going to be 50 million disappointed viewers. <laughs> <laughs> I really am very disappointed, Ria. I know Eric must be very disappointed. Eric! I'm oh. sorry you're disappointed. What about? Well, not being able to take the fur coat off. <laughs> to introduce you to our best special guest artist, Mr. Bobby Rydell.
a joker in the pack there's always a lonely clown the poor laughing fool falls on his back and everyone laughs when he's down there's always a funny man in the game but he's only funny by mistake ah, but everyone laughs at him just the same they don't see his lonely heart break they don't care as long as there is a jester just a fool as foolish as he can be ah, there's always a joker that's a rule fate deals a hand and i see the joker is me They don't care as long as there is a jester Just a fool, as foolish as he can be ah, There's always a joker, that's a rule But fate deals a hand and I see The joker is me The joker is me The joker is me Direct from the Lido Paris, the sensational Jacques, Dino, and Samantha. Where's Elsie? Where's Elsie? Did you hear? It's obvious she's not here. She's your wife. Where is she? Well, she, uh, she popped out for a couple of minutes. Where to? Tasmania. <laughs> Tasmania? Well, we've had a bit of a row, you know. Not another just... one. Yeah. <laughs> it's just it's the way it is. But what are we going to do? We don't get excited. We're, we're only one short. <laughs> There's only three of us in the flaming heart. <laughs> well, we'll have to do it without her, won't we? How can we do it without her? Well, just pretend she's not there. I'll never know the difference. And smile.
No, I've got her. <laughs> no, I've got her. I always catch her here. I always catch her. You know that. Oh, well, if you've got a bit like that. <laughs> Julia, don't go up. It's your wife. Carry her off. <laughs> what part have you got? The head. Well, so have I. Now, go get the legs. I'll get the legs.
the tiger so wild And away went my beautiful clown And away went my very last day as a child The day that the circus left Ladies and gentlemen, meet Mr. Bobby Rydell. Meet Bobby Rydell, Eric. Hi, nice That's fine, thank nice you. Bobby yeah, lovely, lovely to have you on the show. Thank you. It's nice I only hope that you uh, sing as well as the other fellow did before. He was great. He was a knockout. Mark, <laughs> he really was. Oh, that was me. Oh, there's two of you then. Yeah. Oh, good. Well, will you excuse me a moment, Nelson, yes. please? Nelson? <laughs> Nelson Rydell, the orchestra leader. No, no. No, no, that, that's Riddle. Riddle. And I'm Bobby. Bobby. Bobby Riddle, you are. <laughs> now, what I was going to tell you was... Excuse me. Yes. <laughs> what I was going to say was, I took these pictures and I had them uh, developed. Yeah. What do you think of them? Well, I don't know. I like the way the shadow is and everything at the back. You like the shadow? Nice. I like the shadow. Very nice. Uh, that's not me, though. No, it's not. No, it's not. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not bad. That's not bad. No, it's not bad. Very, very... <laughs> <laughs> yup. The angle's good. Oh, very good. <laughs> It's a happy little show. <laughs> but no, that's not me. No, not, no. No. Oh, that's definitely not me. Well, who is it then? Who is it? That's me. Yeah. No, no, these are pictures that I took of Bobby Rydell. Yes, that's me. See, I told you there were two of you. <laughs> well, one of us is going to sing again. Oh. Is he? Bobby, don't take any notice of him, will you? Go ahead and sing. Sure, thank you. Excuse me. He's a lovely fellow, isn't he? He's very nice. It doesn't look like that, though. <laughs> <laughs> and now, ladies and gentlemen, Bobby Rydell is going to sing again. Oh, it's a lovely song. <laughs>
Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, we would like to present an episode of Peyton Place. <laughs> Not the never-ending Peyton Place. <laughs> the never-ending story of Peyton Place is my favorite. The continuing story of Peyton Place. <laughs> well, it's never-ending when you look at it, isn't it? <laughs> Can I play the part of Elliot? I want to play the part of Elliot because he's handsome and distinguished and I could play that part like falling off a lock. You're not in it. <laughs> Peyton Place, starring Ernie Wise as Rodney. <laughs> Millicent Martin as Constance. <laughs> Sid as Elliot. Sid is Elliot? Yeah. He can't play the part of Elliot, he's got no mouth. How can he play the part of Elliot? Shut up! And starring Dick as Alison. Dick as Alison? We couldn't get another woman. Well, does Sid know he's Dick's daughter? Or vice versa? How do I know? How do I know? All right. What can I play? What can I play? You can play the part of Norman. Norman! I'll play the part of Norman. What's yeah. he do? What's he do? Well, you just go around to everybody and you say, how are you? Yes. And then you look depressed and miserable. What for? Well, everybody looks depressed and miserable in Peyton Place. Oh, I see. Hello. How are, how are you? How are you? And you then look you look depressed and miserable. I'll do okay, it then. I'll do it. I'll start now. Places, please. Yes. Hello. How are you? <laughs> Hello. How are you? Uh, I'll tell you. <laughs> Hello, how are you? <laughs> Hello, Millie. Constance. No, I'm Norman. <laughs> Sorry. Hello, Constance. How are you? Oh, you're just trying to be nice. I appreciate what you're trying to do. I really do. But I'm along with it all night, night after night after night. <laughs> um, um. I just said to Millie, how are you? And she went to that Bette Davis bit there. You're supposed to console her. Well, how long has she been alone with it all night? What's it all about? What's she got? It's her problem. Haven't we all got problems? <laughs> I've got a little problem that I'm alone with every night. I'll tell you about it if you like. No, this is something I have to sort out for myself. <laughs> Would you care to dance? <laughs> What are you doing? Well, the music started. I thought I could cheer her up. Have a dance, you see. Take her mind off the problem. The music is there for the dramatic effect. Oh, sorry. Constance is being dramatic. <laughs> I'm sorry, Constance. <laughs> it's good, it's good. That's all right, Rodney. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Norman. <laughs> oh! Hello, Ern. Rodney. Hello, Rodney. <laughs> Rodney. Hello, Ern, Rodney. <laughs> How are you? Hi! Pardon? <laughs> you ask me, how are you? You've got a lovely colour. <laughs> The music started again. Would you care to dance? <laughs> Is that the dramatic effect? Are you being dramatic now? Yes! You are not doing it well. <laughs> Constance is on it again now. She starts. Can I be dramatic while the music's going on? <laughs> the chirping of the bird is on the sycamore tree. <laughs> I'll tell you that, folks. What? The chirping of the... <laughs> Hello, Constance. Hello, Rodney. Hello, Sid. <laughs> Elliot! He's no Elliot. Look at his face. How can he be an Elliot? I should be Elliot. Hello, Sid. How are you? You don't know what it's like. No waiting and no worry. That's like old Bobby. 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 <laughs> When's Sid gonna start being dramatic? <laughs> He's being dramatic now! He's not as good as you are! Of course not. He's not as good as you are. I'm telling you, not as good as it's him. Mad, it's not watch, watch her. Watch her. Watch her. Watch her. Hello, Rodman. How are you? You ask me! Hey! You ask 
He's a knockout. He's a knockout. I am fed up, I tell you. I'm fed up, you hear me? Everybody can hear you. Oh, I've had enough. I can't stand this. I'm going to get out of this place. What are you doing? What are you doing? I can't stand it. No, no, no. Have several Johnsons now. What's the matter with you? Too much. I want to get out of this stinking town. What stinking town? I want to get out of this stinking town. Them how they are, they all go raving mad. <laughs> Incidentally, sweet Alison, <laughs> how are you? You ask me. Get it off! Get it off! You're so dear, Alison! Alison, we mustn't like that! I only asked her how she was. You ask me how I am. Will you get it off? Please get it off! I want to get it off! It's finished! It's finished! It's finished! I'm off! It's finished! Don't you want to play? Where is Norman? I'm Norman. I'm Norman. I'm Norman. I'm Norman. No, 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 I'm we won't know that until next week. <laughs> but that bullet nicked my heart. I don't think I'll be here. You have been watching the continuing story of Peyton Place. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of the show. Yes, I'm afraid so. We do hope you've enjoyed it. Yeah. It's been a lot of fun. I've enjoyed it, haven't you? A lot of laughs. Yes. I think we ought to say a big thank you to all our friends. Of course. The Small Faces. Excellent. They were good. Excellent. Really good. They look very nice, don't they? They look extremely nice, except for one thing. What's that? Their faces are too small, I feel. Did you think so? <laughs> Much too small. A big thank you to Miss Millicent Martin. As ever. Yes. Yeah. Lovely. And not forgetting, of course, Mr. Bobby Rydell. Oh, great. Yeah, great. Thank you. Lovely, lovely. Well, I guess about wraps it up, eh? Well, he's only one trouble with Bobby Rydell. He's too good looking, isn't he? Yes, he is. He's a bit you know. young. Young he is, actually. Yeah, that's the trouble with him. Mm -hmm. Never mind. No. It's the way it goes. <laughs> yes. Oh, well. No, just say, say goodbye. Bye -bye. Oh, yeah. don't forget Frank Sinatra on oh, the yeah. side. How are you, Frank? Bye, Frank. <laughs> Glad he came. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. You haven't brought the music again? No. Maybe next week. Play your cards right. <laughs> well, that's it then, eh? Hmm? Well, we have a big finale or something? No, or? no, we're due through the door. It's all been arranged. I've fixed it. Up you go. Oh, you fixed it? Yeah, all right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, folks. Yeah.